Hey guys, so before starting today's video, I thought about letting you know I'm gonna make some smaller changes in my videos. And starting today, I'm gonna try to make shorter videos. And in the end of the week, I will be summing up all my recommendations and financial advice for you. So you will have one video in the end of the week. However, that video will be without uh, details but right now so over to the video of today polka starter one of the largest launch pads on the market maybe the largest one I have gone through their next upcoming pre-sale project called crypto citizen what is crypto citizen you might ask well have a look at it. Here it says Crypto Citizen, according to Polkastar's website, is an upcoming NFT based MMORPG game built on Binance Smart Chain. So let's check it out if I could recommend it to you or not. So here you see they're actually looking to get uh, 650,000 US dollars in this pre sale event with a maximum of 500 US dollars per buy. However, let's go down here. Here. It also states that they have already received 7 million US dollars from top venture capitalists and they're also partnering with Binance NFT marketplace. So I'm wondering why do they even need this pre-sale or what is the their thoughts it, for me it would be much better just to have a fair launch of the token right then you and I the investors we would be better off it says here that the team behind this game fight is Q O R P O and this is a leading game studio and multi-blockchain company that was founded in 2018 and has more than 40 employees and their headquarters is in Slovakia so I wonder why have I never heard of them before have you maybe not so and now on to one of the most important parts of a DeFi project the token allocation and tokenomics we have it down here okay so I have calculated that the team, in one way or another, will get a total of 60.25% of the total, total supply of the tokens. They have also had some pre-sales before this TGE token generation event. Uh, and there they have sold off 27.5%. And during this pre-sale, or this TGE, they will sell only 1.2%. And then they will release another pre-sale to the public with 1.5%. That doesn't look good, right? It looks more like a get-rich scheme for the team and these venture capitalists, right? Also, I can't get the math together on this equation. They have written that the initial market cap will be 720,000 US dollars. So why are they raising 650,000 US dollars? The initial price, listing price, will be 8 cents or 0.08 US dollars. If this token generation event will sell 1.2, percent of the total supply of 1 billion tokens then we have 8 million tokens for this pre-sale or TGE so this TGE will have a price at 0 0.06 or 6 cents however take into account all the earlier tokens and the allocations to different groups then we have 87.75 percent of the total tokens already minted and distributed to other investors 
87.75% is equal to 877,500,000 tokens. Take that amount with a listing price of 8 cents, you will get an initial market cap of 70,200,000 US dollars and not 720,000 US dollars. And don't forget the Polka Starter, the largest launchpad on the market today in this bear market, has a market cap at around 51 million US dollars. 19 million less. In December of 2021, when Polka Starter had their highest market cap, they were almost at 350 million US dollars. Well, before the final verdict, let's have a look at their white paper. It's up here. I already found it. Well, I went through this, and yeah, as you can see, uh, there's not much information on it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say much. More than you might be able to find in an old Nintendo game folder. Or this is even less information about the game itself. That's what the white paper should be about. One interesting part of the Crypto Citizen tokenomics, let's go back here. Here. Um, it's actually where is the allocation for the TGE? The 1.2% up here. This one. It should be somewhere here in the tokenomics explained, but it's not. So, where is it? It's nowhere to be found. So, what is my final verdict and my financial advice to you? Well, if you, crypto citizen company, have gotten 7 million US dollars from venture capitalist investors, do you really need to acquire another 650,000 US dollars? I would simply have released the token. And I always prefer a fair launch. However, sometimes I do understand some percentage allocated to the team, founders, pre-sale and so on. But that's only if you need the money. But there's also a big but here. And I do not like big buts. The total supply of this pre-launch part should never be higher than 30% with a lock period of at least 24 months. Here we have a pre-sold of 80, higher than 87%. Yeah. So my advice to you, financial advice, is do not buy crypto, citizen. Save your money for another project with better tokenomics. Maybe I'll get some Eastern European mafia threats now. Well, I hope not. But if I do, I'll let you know if I do. So, until next time, don't forget that I'm giving away either some BNB crypto or a trip to Thailand if I get that many subscribers. And you can be one of them. So, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Have a nice day. Bye bye.